Rick Pizan is his running back. And a first down to fake the toss and look to go deep down the sideline. It is batted away. Terry and Arnold with great hands denying DJ England Chisholm who had the big catches against Miami a year ago. He's the entire time got his head around and broke it up. On second down they swing it outside but Elijah Metcalf is quickly sworn. It was Caleb Downs a fresh note to stop day one and he's going to be the next great on the back end. 60 B's out there now and they get to the quarterback. But Darius Robinson with the sack it's a loss of eight. Oh, it's going to confuse the left guard and center. They're trying to pass pass this off. And they run right into each other. But both of them would have gotten home. Deontay Lawson yeah. being the other. They'll go five wide on the snap. Fatiato taken down. Chris Braswell with the sack for Alabama. Well, they're sliding in that direction. Right tackle. Jay Sean Boye just doesn't get out wide enough. McAfee's doing an extra show. Are you breaking news that Nation is going to be here? No, they broke it already. Okay. I hope. Yeah, <laughs> so too. Otherwise, the phone's going to ring. No, Nothing doing on that swing pass. Now, first to 10. Hit as he throws. And intercepted. Jalen Key with the pick for Alabama. Just an unbelievable play by Key. Forces the vertical route on the inside, keeps eyes on the quarterback the entire way. For a few recruiting cycles, now all of a sudden the physicality, you can push around the defense like that. And that's, that's how Alabama's built. Deontay Lawson with the second. He wants to block Fatiato. Tossed to Pizant, who gets taken down by Caleb Down. Second and seven. They go with the sweep. Cole, we were sitting with Sark not too long ago before their bowl game in San Antonio, and they're down nine. Extra man coming, and they get it outside, and a fantastic play made on the ball immediately by Trey Amos. Quick screens to the outside. Amos does a really good job of reading that. Usually it's the outside guy that gets that screen to someone's side, and they have been tonight. Well, misdirection. They're going to try to run it with Middlebrook. And he ends up losing the yard. Kevin Steele. Nice. Middle putting it together a drive. A little toss on second and goal. Ooh. And wow. That was a D cleater coming from Jaheim Oates. Football getting north and south. The last thing you want to see is number 91. And it's taken away. Just flat ripped away by Alabama after the completion. Wow, what a play by Blackshot. Emma with a 42 point lead, and another takeaway. Leave it there, and I will take it myself. Thank you. Play action. Ewers has plenty of time, scans and checks it down to the tight end, Jatavian Sanders. The ball comes out, a scramble for it. And it looks like Texas may have retained possession. Knocking the ball loose was Malachi Moore. Again, good job by Alabama taking away any options downfield. He just has to check this down. Bill, what do you think of that? The play's under review right now. They're Second and five. Baxter off the pump fake, has it on the edge. A big collision. <laughs> There's going to be plenty of hitting tonight. Deontay Lawson so far from done. First and goal from the five. Play action, Ewers slant and incomplete. Malachi Moore arrived to knock the ball loose. Blue again. Swarm. No game. And they fake it. Worthy on the end around. Cuts underneath. Thought he might take it wide. Terry and Arnold brought him down to prevent a big game. It'll be third down. Wow, watch this. Watch Sanders zero go back. Now he's going to go the other way. Look at these offensive linemen. They got nobody to block downfield. Nobody there. What a play there by Arnold. On the edge, catch made by Whittington. And he's going to be tackled. Now back in the red zone, Kirk. And another pressure. Ewers escapes, makes a move, and will stumble forward. He'll be stopped at the 10. Made some magic in the fourth quarter. Texas now 
back to work. And the freshman is tackled behind the line. Terry and Arnold got Baxter, who loses about four. Six. Keep the drive going. Richard picked up. Worthy goes up in the end zone and could not come up with it. Trey Amos knocked the ball loose. No hesitation. Take it to Brooks. Yours looking across the middle, and it's incomplete. Waiting for the football was Mitchell, but Arnold arrived to knock it loose. Tight for Arnold, right? I mean, he's made some plays and he's made some mistakes. This time he does a good job of reacting. Once that ball's in the air, times that up really well. Coach putting it on the line. And Brooks fighting. I don't think he got there. Dallas Turner wrapped him up. So a redshirt freshman going up against Alabama and quarterback run on first down and he grinds out maybe a half yard looks like he was actually brought down right about at the line of scrimmage his can rest blitz spinning out his brow trying to turn the corner and has no chance to get anywhere near the line to gain Dallas Turner the speed to the edge to track down Byron Brown slowed down his recruiting Went to Florida, and now here he is at USF playing against the top. Brown tries to get loose and squeezes his way back to the line of scrimmage. Brought Bullish on the cusp of John Cannon's field goal range. And if Brown takes a sack, they'd be out of field goal range. He does well to get about four yards, hit the deck, and the ball popped free. But he was clearly down. The front is very stout, but we're not going to abandon the run in this game. Brown again on the move. This time tripped up behind the line and sacked. 45-yard line by Deontay Lawson. You're here to win. Fourth and three. USF will go for it. Alabama again brings pressure. The pocket collapses. And the Crimson Tide get the takeaway on downs. Dallas Turner. He Boyd was there as well. Ranked here in the first half. Down 3-0 as Brown drops the throw. The pocket collapses. And the ball's ripped out. It is loose. The Crimson Tide have a takeaway. Track and field. It's a big punt, and it will come up well short of the first down. They try some razzle-dazzle on special teams. Alabama was ready for it. Gunnar Greenwald took the direct snap. 100%, Bob. They don't get enough love and don't want them to feel like they're forgotten when they get back. Swing pass, K1 Powell. Blown up back at about the 12-yard line by Malachi Moore. Read and give him some blockers out in front. The keeper for Brown. He gets shut down again by the Alabama defense. Deontay Lawson is there. The fourth time the Crimson Tide have taken over on downs. They're leading the way. This is what we're used to seeing. Pama controlling the line of scrimmage, not allowing USF to push them off the ball. And if I'm Alex Golish in this moment, what is a college game? Very much so. Incomplete. Threw it at the feet of Jason Littlejohn. And he is slow to get up. If he does get up, he took a shot. Yeah, he did take a shot. Yeah, you're going to watch this hit. Brian Brown with the fake out. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, my God. For this young man. So I'm not surprised here in the fourth quarter that that's who they're going to. Play action again. A shot into double coverage. And it's intercepted in the end zone. Malachi Moore floats under the shot. Yeah, Byron Brown forced it down the field into double coverage, but I'm trying to figure out how did the DB play it better than the wide receiver? So, Eli, for all of us, if you are out there listening right now, you can't get back soon enough. Alabama football is not the same without your voice attached to it home and away. And it looks like Byron Brown going down. He's going to get it to him. It's the fourth catch of 40 yards or more for Wade, but this time nothing doing on first down. It's a loss on the play. Malachi Moore is so good, he snuffed that out right at the beginning. With the set. Loss of two on the play. Pressure's coming. They throw it out of the backfield for Watkins, the receiver who was moving all over the place. And he's right back to the line of scrimmage. Now pre-scoring is toward the bottom of your screen. The tight end, first game for him. Pressure's coming. He's wrapped up, taken down Tim Smith. Known as being a run stuffer, but watch this rush 
by Alabama. It's another twist, and Braswell gets the push, mm. and then Smith just keeps hustling and gets him. Of Mazin. And it's blocked. It's spinning out of bounds inside the two yard line. Ja'Cory Brooks got his hand in there. Brooks comes from the left side of the punter, right side of the punter, just gets a piece of it. His helmet comes off, came flying in. And Bama make. Judkins in the backfield. Dart, little hitch, steps up in the pocket. He's going to run it. Ooh, Ooh he lost his hat. Ooh. Wow. We talked about it in the open. Mom would like him to slide. Dad says he's a football player, and he's going to have to leave again. Jason, he did this last week. Oh, my goodness. They can't spike it after that. Trey Harris is in on the far side. They go to him toward the pylon, and it's incomplete. One-on-one -on -one coverage broken up. That was Arnold. Kool-Aid McKentry gets all the love on the other side, but this guy's feisty, he competes, and the one thing when we talked about, Phil, we talked to Kevin Steele about him, he said he's the energizer bunny. Off the play fake, Dart steps up in the pocket, looking long toward the middle of the field, and it's intercepted! Arnold's brings it back across the 30, beautiful spin move across the 35. And he's up to the 42 before Franklin makes the tackle. Because we were in the meetings together, you know, they talked about his teammates, talked about his uh, how good of a teammate he is. And when Simpson got the two point conversion, they certainly showed the celebration. 17 7 Alabama, let's go to New York. Off the play fake, they'll throw to Watkins. Watkins, nothing there. Franklin was there to try to block, but Caleb Downs just peeled right past him. Lane game. On third down, Dart, middle of the field, and it's incomplete, nearly intercepted by McKinstry. Just enough in the passing yeah. game to keep him honest. Alabama will kick this one off. And Bentley will try to return it. Bentley brings it out, Ooh. and he loses the football. It's picked up by Ole Miss. Another big hit. Looks like it was Justin Jefferson, and really, he primarily just got the football. Dark pressure's coming. He's trying to avoid it. Flags come in, and he's taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Dallas Turner chased him down. Top of your screen, the dip at the top, and then McGee kind of takes somebody down, too. There was a couple, and then look at the hustle mm. by Dallas Turner. Two holds on the same play, and Turner still able to get the sack for Alabama. Right out of Penn State. Brad and Gary will have that with Jenny. And that pass play is broken up. It was in the direction of Trey Harris, who's played limited snaps today. Whoever the play caller is, they're doing a heck of a job so far today. <laughs> they're down at six. They go with a jet sweep. Way nothing there. Read beautifully. Blackshire. They hand the ball off. The Judkins, not much is there. You surprised with a hand? That's a career high. Nine receptions for Watkins. Dart wrapped up and taken down from behind. Braswell, so athletic. Bentley in the backfield. They go to Watkins. Watkins, nothing's there. Ripped down. Dallas Turner read it beautifully. Dart steps up, going long middle of the field, broken up. Caleb Downs stepped in front of Watkins. It's fourth down for Ole Miss. And second down, Dart looks right. Oh. Pressure's coming, and he sacks. Dallas Turner high in the air to take him down. Line for first down. Trips to the bottom. Here comes the pressure. Dart hit as he throws. Incomplete. Malachi Moore came blitzing in and do not even allow him to get the pass off as Malachi Moore is coming through and makes the hit. Alabama will take over with the lead. Rodgers gets it out quick, little receiver screen, but blown up by Malachi Moore. Having none of that, Tulu made the catch. It was hit immediately. Trying to get lined up. Rodgers, they set up a screen, picked off. 
at the 25-yard line by Chris Braswell. Still on his feet. Miraculously scores. Bravo, Braswell. Yeah, now look at this. Hands up, ball's tipped. Now watch Braswell here. Watch him just rip it away from Pittman. I am not giving this baby up. <laughs> I smell a pick six. But Mississippi State couldn't take advantage of it. This conversion would go a long way, third and four. Rodgers back in, and he's going to be sacked. Back at the 13-yard line, fourth down coming up. Drive happened. Coach Arnett telling us a little bit earlier yesterday that this Alabama defense is as good as any defense they'll see. And there's an illustration. The interception by Campbell. And that is not what you expect from a quarterback who is starting his 36th, 37th game. Yep. Rodgers gets it out. This is Harmon, and he's going to pick up about a yard on the play. Third and ten. And don't. Rodgers going to be sacked. Q, I don't know if there was a song sad enough to describe that last play. Wow. A little bunch formation at the bottom of the screen there. Rodgers trying to pull, can't fire, and is sacked. Alabama will take over at the 33 on downs. Dallas Turner, the first one to get there. That's the fourth sack of the day for the Crimson Tide defense. Yeah, and we've talked some thoughts and words exchanged over the summertime. Aggie's playing with QB2 now. Rogers taking a shot, picked off. Caleb Downs with the INT. Screen over here, making a good idea to just watch the quarterback. He's on him, he's on him, he sees it. Third pick of the wow. game for Rogers. And this defense, my friend, elite. Yes. Rodgers got rid of it. Incomplete. That recovery, Broken up by Kool-Aid. That recovery speed. Yeah. On a second down and four. He's going to ride the tailback and keep it himself, and he might have a first down. It'll be really close. Jim <laughs> Here's a run. Oh, that's going to be really close. It was third down and about a foot and a half. Maybe on Moss is pushed back. We'll see where the and forward progress is. I don't think is. he made it. Good job by Chris Braswell that time. Braswell's known as a pass rusher, but this time he stuffs it then inside the tackle made. Yardage. Johnson had to get rid of it in a hurry and it's broken up. I'll tell you, Dallas Turner gave Max Johnson no time to do anything. By the Alabama defense. Watch 15 Turner come off the edge right here. Bam in his face. No chance and great coverage from Lawson. The inside linebacker. He's back. He's healthy. And Bama gets a stop. First and goal Aggies. Play fake. Johnson throws late. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage to his brother Jake. So that's the second time out. Amari Daniels. Boy. Driving those legs, but that's the hardest two yards you're going to see. the blocker on, and they just kind of stuff them right there. And then they look. They don't get blocked out of the play, throw them off, and make the tackle. Wonderful play. No kidding. Johnson on second down, getting pressure again, had to get rid of it. Well, I'll tell you, with that time by that front offensive line. Deontay Lawson back in there. Yes, it was. Nice. This ben, he plays inside linebacker. Here he is right here. Watch him just run right through the block of the run. That's not a very good block, no, is it? Not. Mari Daniels said it's easier to run the ball than block this guy. <laughs> just outside the 43. Johnson waiting too long this time. Down he goes. And it was Justin Aboigby. That's in second down at six. And this is going to be a loss for Ruben Owens. I tell you, Dallas Turner is on fire on the edge right now. From the 37, extra rusher coming. Johnson's got to get rid of it, and it is intercepted. I don't know. Might yeah, they're the going to say incomplete. And one one referee said incomplete. One said he got it. Came on the hit, and the freshman Marsh uh, the Downs will see. Oh, I think he's got it. He did. Remember, it was Downs who got beat on the in and out, uh, up for the touchdown, but this time he closed on the crossing route on Jake Johnson. 
Moss looked like he was going to give it back to Johnson. I don't think he got there. No, he didn't get close. And they remember, they were stopped on fourth down early in the game. Max looking that way the whole time, backpedaling, throws off his back foot and completes. Nobody open. Turner's coming again. Johnson going long. Man there. And Aya Smith, but it's broken up at the very last moment by Terry and Arnold. Sideline, and this time he gets beat, but does not give up on the play. Not everything is perfect. Stays with it and makes the play. And Aya Smith said this week, we know what Coach Saban wants, and we've got something for him. And Terry and Arnold said, I've been here three years. I still don't know what he wants. <laughs> Second and eight. Johnson, pockets collapsing. Down he goes. Turner is there. So is a Boigby. And, uh, and it's blocked by Alabama. And they're going the other way. And it's Chris Braswell down the sideline. Alabama scores. There's a flag down back in midfield. But what a play by number 41. Right in the middle. <laughs> You don't see that very often. And there's the blindside block. Touchdown taken back to a penalty. Uh, illegal crack back block. And now cracking Max Johnson down to the deck is the defensive front of Alabama. Well, you remember that offensive line problems that Al uh, Alabama had in the first half? Well, the second half, the problems are with the A&M offensive line. Yeah. And they're being overrun. Zero points in this half. Every throw that Max Johnson has thrown, he had to back up on to let the ball go in the second half. Run over by the Alabama front wall. Johnson goes down, and it's a safety. Well, the ball is actually out, too, but it's going to be at least two for number 92. It'd be reviewed whether the ball came out, because I think there was an immediate recovery by Alabama. I called safety first and touchdown second because Rolling of this. Is an incomplete pass. Oh, he it's threw it. Threw. But was Offense, he in the grasp when he let the ball go? The foul occurred in the end zone. By rule, it's a safety. Man to the right. On second and goal from the 12. Johnson in trouble. Got away momentarily, but not the second wave. And Braswell is there again. Now so is Keenan. To go. James Burnup on the punt. He was hurt last week. But is back out there. He's a terrific punter. Satania under it. Fields it on the 31. And gets knocked down at the 35-yard line. It's a series for the Razorbacks. And Dubinian gets the carry here on first down. No running room whatsoever. Mauled by Boykby and Otis. Third and seven for Jefferson. And it's going to be a quarterback run, but Jefferson, even at 247, is wrapped up and brought down. here with Arkansas ball at the 38 second time they've been inside the Alabama 40 here in the opening quarter and Jefferson faking the pitch and sacked back at the 45 yard line Tresman Marshall Dubinian off the right side and he gets wrestled to the ground after a gain of maybe one and they were all prepared to get yelled at all week long <laughs> to not get complacent. Jefferson hit sacked on third down. Latham has had a good start to this game for Bama. That's a loss of 12. Well, inside Latham, watch the hands. It's going to be a quick chop, rip, and he's getting up the field immediately on Bo Limmer. Nothing he can do. Straight to the quarterback, the quickest way to get to the quarterback. And he's been quiet since he caught a ball in the first quarter. KJ taken off and thrown down about two yards short of the line to gain. Keenan and Braswell team up on the stop, and it's a first down for Arkansas. They got six on first down, but they got a punt now. Well, it's going to be a drop eight. Zone coverage on the back end, nowhere to go. KJ Jefferson waits, tries to find someone here this season. Midway point of the third quarter. Arkansas has not scored since the middle of the first, and they don't have a touchdown yet. Jefferson. As a flag goes down, trying to get out of there, and finally is tackled. Terry on Arnold was holding on for dear life. And, and it comes to, by the way, this is my wife. Screen set up here, but it's Redwell and a body slam on A.J. Green by Quindarius Robinson. Line trailing by 11, and they put together another good drive here. 
There's nothing on first down. Just no room whatsoever to run there. They're going to run Dubinion in trouble and spun down at the five-yard line by Jalen Key. Late in the third. Jefferson to the air. Gets hit. And down he goes. Dallas Turner. College football. He's going to hit Chambly with an inside move. Starting outside, he's going to come inside. And he's going to get a big, much-needed sack on K.J. Jefferson. Small made the first man miss, and then the cutback got to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Again, that's that Alabama defense. Alabama fans are hoping that statistic doesn't change. They fake the sweep to Sampson. Oh, that one is hit in route. I think it was Lawson, number 32, that got his hand up. It's a good vertical jump by number 32 right there. Milton going to throw it out. Tough just to make the catch for Jalen Wright. Joe Milton, 50% on his third down conversions today. This one's third and seven. He's going to flare it out to Wright. Looking for blockers, nothing there. Wrestled out of bounds, Terry and Arnold. Jalen Wright. Going to be a loss of a yard. Justin Aboigby. And they will run. Milton hit once. I don't know. I don't think so. Alabama's going to take over. Just outside the seven. Jalen Wright again. Going to be tracked down by Lawson. Joe Milton. The quick look to the right. And now he's going down. Drop for a loss of three. Knee just gave way. Second down and ten from the 38. Shovel pass inside. Going nowhere. Maybe a half yard for Samson. And it was, was Tiff Keaton just collapsing that offensive line into the backfield. Makes the play while he's being blocked at the same time. Don't make it. Didn't make the last one. Didn't make this one either. Alabama takes over as Sampson got enough. Firing up the crowd for the defense. First and 19. Milrow wanted to throw a wide out screen and they blew that up in a minute. Yeah. Attention. And did just in time, I think. Milton has time. Now running out of it. Crossing route complete. Tight end's not going to get there. Fourth down. They need every yard they can get right now. Milton backside pressure. Down he goes. The ball is out. It's going to be scooped, and it might be a score. It is. Campbell, touchdown, Alabama. This time, the sack around the corner from Chris Braswell. He scoops it, and he scores. First half, and Joe Milton. But they haven't scored here in the second half, and they need some, and they need some in a hurry. That didn't start it well. When you say for shoot tops. Milton fires near side, broken up, incomplete. Nice play by Trey Amos. Somewhere other than to number three. And he kicked it to him at the 32. And he's dragged down. Nice job on the punt coverage. Just a short return. You know, he's back up, and so is the Tennessee offense, but Milton's going the wrong direction. Down he goes, way back inside the 40, Dallas Turner. 41 from the right side, puts pressure on, so he spins back the other way, right to number 15. Daniels throws the out, and in and out of the hands. Nice play by Terry on Arnold to pick it up, for sure. And again, a low snap, and he's going to throw for it, and it's broken up by Malachi Moore. And the veteran Malachi Moore, number 13, watch the short motion, and the Alabama defensive backs have to switch. Then McCor Malachi reads it and runs right for the receiver. He didn't even look back for the ball. He just ran, stuck his arm out, and timed it perfectly. Straight run this time. Diggs, nothing doing. Back to the line of scrimmage if he's lucky. Avoidance there. And now settles in. Daniels. Nothing. And whoa, did he Not get that rocked that time? <laughs> Aboigby again. Taylor on the move. 
And Emery trying to go wide and avoid the what a first half 92 set. 17. To the 46. Now wide receiver screen. That got great blown effort. up out there by Terry and Arnold. Terry and Arnold, great effort that time. Taylor will come inside there and the they're going to throw to him. One-handed catch. And got it to the 40-yard line. That's the first time the triple option. Closer to Atlanta and maybe beyond. But they still got the Tigers here, but now it's intercepted. Picked off by Terry on Arnold on a tip ball. It was Dallas Turner that got the tip. Not having turnovers. Here comes one. Watch it. He reads the quick throw, jumps up, and makes the play. Boom. And Terry on Arnold takes the rip. Ricochet is of the season. Oh, with 13 minutes to go. Nussmeyer sidearms it out, complete to Thomas. Nussmeyer off his back foot. Short gain across the middle to neighbors. Down showing pressure off the edge here. They're down in six. And they're able to get to Leary and then just thrown back by Chris Braswell. Chris Braswell just ragdolled Devin Leary. And they're going to loop the end here to provide the pressure on Leary. Great job knowing that Kentucky's going to have to push the ball up. Can Devin Leary and the Cats find offensively? Leary, quick strike to the outside. Ball is out. Ball is scooped. Caleb Downs reaching for the end zone and ruled down at the one yard line. Struggle with drops on the outside. Barry on Brown and Dane Key. They've struggled with ball security. If that indeed is a fumble and it looked like it is. He's on the year. Do we hear 10? Short pitch. Blockers on front, but look at the pursuit by Alabama as Jaheim Otis drives in the shotgun. And he is set. He is brought down and a turnover on downs as that Bama front just collapses on him. He threw the ball and it was batted back in his face. Well, no well. doubt. Davis testing the right side and he was tripped up again by Caleb Downs. It's incredible this true freshman. Third and 11. Excellent break on the ball from Arnold. Terry on Arnold. What an interception. Roll time. Watch this second movement. That slide right there. See that? When his third foot hit the ground, the ball didn't come out. And that ball was a hair late. Terry on Arnold able to undercut that deep out. Leary goes underneath to Davis, but Campbell was right on top of him. First down, Katz. Leary. Incomplete. Sumo Karmbe almost turned and had a touchdown, but he couldn't hold on to the ball. Shoulder of Sumo Karmbe, who initially looked like he had it. That's a, that's a really good job there by Kool-Aid McKinstry of attacking that ball with his right hand. Progressive pylon cam. And just punch. Left hand as well. Great job by Cooley. Defensive playbook. Even a month ago, they say. Ray Davis is stacked up and driven back. Combination of tied players, including Campbell. Kind of put me in my place. Show me that, hey, you don't just get to come out here and play quarterback. You got to put in the work. And it changed the way I prep. And Devin Leary. And this is the quandary you're in. Down three scores is you have to push the football down the field. Date. But not often with Kentucky in Alabama. Third and 21. Leary's going to go underneath to Key, who's going to be well short as he's tackled immediately by Caleb Downs. Programs at the time, and that's the Aflac trivia question answer. Leary trying to stay alive there and works his way back. And he couldn't get the payoff, and the ball may have come out at the end there. Was he down or did Alabama just recover the fumble with Christian Story claiming Missed the that. tackle in the previous play? Look at this. Oh, That's yeah, a it's out. That's a fumble and a fumble recovery by Christian Story and did it all on his own. Looks like that ball starts to move right there. See, look, at it's between his legs there already. I don't know. That's bad. 
Maybe it's simultaneous. Second and six. Empty backfield. Schoenberg! Hello! And that could... And defensively, Alabama will make the shift. Schaumburg, the pass, and it is picked up. No. Yes, it is. Christian Story with the interception for Alabama. All the way. Sees the wide receiver. Pitch up in the flat out there. And great job breaking on the ball. Structure to this in, in, in a way guys are supposed to play, and they do it well. Second and seven. Appleberry buried in the backfield. Justin E. Boydby. Man coverage. Schaumburg, pump fake, throws, incomplete. That was good coverage, batted down by Caleb Downs. Coming, guy goes out, that means he's coming back in. Here comes the slant route and he jumps it. They could have three losses nah, by now. I don't know about that. They are not that good. Put Florida State in there, I, I would say yes to that, what you just said. Punt return by Caleb Downs, and he finds the seam. He makes the punter look silly. Caleb Downs, show him what you got. Touchdown, Bama. Team that went undefeated and won the ACC title game. Would they have the guts to make that call? I, I don't know. Should they? Maybe. Yeah. Third and seven. And off again is to Houston. Mm. And that defense stays strong. A loss of one on third down. But at any rate, that's Auburn at the eight yard line, second down and six. I don't get it. And no gain on that play. Well, again, if you're Auburn right now, you just that have. That is cooking prowess. Second down and six. From the 46, Jarquez Hunter nowhere to hide this time. Got back to the line of scrimmage. How quiet has it been for McKinstry and Argo? They really haven't had to do anything no. in the game. Uh -oh. And Thorne's going oh, down. Dallas rush. Turner's in the mix again. And so is a boy beat. Watch him just overrun and get inside a nice twist and just cleans it up. Worry about the first down for now. Peyton Thorne. And it's be a timeout by Alabama. They'll get the ball back. Unless they've got a hook and ladder play or something like that. We're going to see Peyton Thorne's arm if he doesn't get Whoa. sacked. And that might be the case. So he's going to let it fly. Down at the goal line. Intercepted right at the goal line by Terry and Arnold. And Ashford to run all the way to the left side trying to get wide. And oh, blown up by... Yeah, the leading tackler, Caleb Downs, the true freshman. Watch him come up, take on the blocker, bounce it out, takes on two players, wow. and then makes the tackle. He came in second and goal at the five. Hunter rejoins Thorne in the backfield. Peyton's going to throw to the end zone off Javarius Johnson's hands, incomplete. And Caleb Downs was covering. Alabama, when you're out there playing man to man, keep fighting. Stay inside, turn your head. Beautiful coverage. Here on third and goal. Straight run ahead for Jarquez. And what a stop by that Alabama defense. Officials, the Auburn fans were booing. Now love those guys, right? Uh huh. Exactly. James run up to punt. Beauty. Conte Scott backpedals, takes around the 18 yard line. Reverses his field, trying to get away. Not going to get away from that one as he's bulldogged down. Meanwhile, the Auburn offense keeps going. And Thorne, the carrier this time. Tim Smith got him wrapped up. Maybe a yard, and now... Okay. Perfect. Thorne rips it down the middle. And he... Did he tuck it in there? No, nope. incomplete. Nope. I got him right in the midsection, and Fairweather is still trying to catch his breath. Third and nine. Thorne in trouble. And he's going to go down. Alabama got to him. Braswell is there. Burnup's kick. More camps up. Fell down to the ball. Yeah. Is out. Picked up. Can't run it. It'd be a muff. It's Jod Campbell who scored on a fumble return the last <laughs> time we had these guys. And this is Alabama pulls and it for a touchdown to take the lead. And Brian Batte is going to bring this out and hoping to make a play, but he's not going to. He won't get to the 15-yard line. 
Now you got to be careful of penalties. You don't want a fight to start here. And one has. Tied with a three man rush. Peyton Thorne. Ball is out in the end zone. Picked up by Auburn, but it might end up being a safety. The ball is still out, squirting around. to get back to the line of scrimmage, which is the one-yard line, with one second to go. Thorne lofts one out. It is intercepted. Terry and Donald will end it for the Tide, maybe with a touchdown. And what lies beyond if they can win this game, they'll make the college football playoff and a chance for a three-peat. But first things first, long way to go. They lead 7-0. And this time, Bowers, nice job defensively. Brought down immediately by Malachi Moore. As well, Dallas Turner. They'll be coming. Beck, though, goes deep down the middle. Almost intercepted. It was intended for Bowers. And Malachi Moore knows that he had a gift there. Yeah, I thought Caleb Downs was all over. I think this is going to Brock Bowers right here. Watch Malachi Moore. Excuse me. I think it's Caleb Downs, number two, that is man-to-man -man on this play. Good coverage. And that ball sailed just a bit. Yep. Yep, just good hand fighting right there. You got to let that go. Tackle spot. Third down at two. Run blitz. And it pays off. And I'll tell you. The attack by the true freshman leading tackler for Alabama. Watch Caleb Downs read this play and turn it back in to Dallas Turner. Shot from that secondary. Number two is going to come up and hit it full speed. Nowhere to go. There he is. Turns it back. Bell in motion. Beck rolls one way and now goes deep. Incomplete. Well, that was close, wasn't it? Yeah, Arian Smith, the intended receiver. It could have been picked off, though. Yeah, the opposite corner that really doesn't come into your eye this time. I think it was McKinstry. Comes from one side to the other. Watch, he just lays off, just looks at the quarterback. Quarterback will never see that guy come in the post the other way, and he falls back on it. He thought he had it, what, six inches away? Yep. Kool-Aid got his hands on it, tipped it away, and he'll be in motion again. On the bootleg, the throws to Delt, the other tight end, the red zone at the 19-yard line. Kendall Milton, nothing doing that time. Nice job by Deontay Lawson, the linebacker. Uh, position. Milton trying to get wide. Tripped yeah. up for a loss, the same guy. Back-to-back -back plays. Deontay Lawson, who struggled with injuries this football season himself, but he's going now. Watch the quickness on this play. He recognizes it. He runs it down. Two outstanding plays made by the inside linebackers. Oh, that makes it third down and 12. George has got to get all the way to the nine-yard line to pick up a first down. Back. Here comes the heat. Down he goes. They get to him, and it's Dallas Turner. The two guys that had to be a factor in the game. You know where the quarterback's going to be. This is an NFL-style offense that Georgia runs. Their quarterback is there. It's third down. What can you do from the edge? And he does something from the edge. Then it was field goal, touchdown, touchdown. Now let's see if Georgia can come up with an early third quarter answer. Screen pass to Brock Bowers. And brought down after a short game by Jihad Cam, if he will be any kind of factor in this second half. Carson Beck throws out. There's an exact Saint. Maybe a two-yard game yeah, that was, before that he's was mauled Great there. defense by that Alabama defense. A couple of minutes ago. That's Bowers on the move. Beck throws right side, but it's going to be... Goes to be Jack Saint. And, oh, boy, at the last second, he almost got the first down. Be short. It's time, or it's a quarterback sneak. It's a pitch. Edwards. And great penetration by Alabama, and they stop it. We just talked about Terry and Arnold. Play the run. He's got Oscar Delp, a tight end in his face. He takes it on and makes the play. That's Alabama defense right there. You love it when your corners will play run defense like that. Second down and seven for Georgia. Play action. Beck to the end zone. Not quite. Bowers has it tipped away by the guy that just came in for Kool-Aid. Yeah, they attacked the, the new player on the field, NFL-ish. That's what you do. You go after. Trey Amos is on the field. 
matching up. They both turn around. Boy, that is really good phase and good work by Amos that time. No doubt. Lovett settles in in the slot. Carson Beck looks one way, in trouble. Throws on the run, into traffic, right. almost picked off. Fortunate on that one, wasn't he? Bowers was the intended receiver. And Christian stays in phase, looks at the quarterback, and then undercuts the should have had it. Which is good news, but it's maybe very uncomfortable. First down, Georgia, from the six-yard line. And still, the six-yard line, maybe the five, might have been a loss of a yard. Caleb Downs with a tackle. Boy, what a freshman yeah. he has been. Leading tackle. First and 15 now. Rosalie Jack Saint will come in and join the group in tight. They're going to come with the end around and the ball. I think Georgia, no, Alabama's got it. Tresman Marshall. Come around, fake. Watch when he hands it off. He just pretends like he's got it already. They didn't. Carson back in trouble, runs into his own lineman and goes down. Justin aboigby has got him. Play fake to Edwards. Down the middle and into some traffic incomplete intended for McConkey. So you just wonder, just out loud, this is not 100%. Might it be better for this Georgia team to get their healthy players on the field? The great guys out of the game, though. Absolutely. Beck. Far sideline, almost picked off, and a good job by Bell. Comes to the outside. Good redirection of the receiver. Looks back oh. and could have picked it up. You're right. If Dylan Bell didn't help him play defense, but how about that snap? That Dejon Edwards in the backfield will get the carry. I don't know. I don't think oh, so. No, he didn't. Which means they're going to have to run it again.